So good morning from a town called Mei Chen. I think it's pronounced like that. I put the name on <laughs> what it's called on the screen. I can't pronounce it. Uh, but we're here in Chiang Mai province uh, in northern Thailand. And this is day two of my Mei Hong Song Loop trip. Uh, it's quite an epic bike trip. Uh, it's quite well known. Uh, and day one we left Chiang Mai and we uh, headed up to uh, Thailand's uh, highest mountain, Doyen Tanon, which is at uh, 2,565 meters. You can watch day one's video in the top right hand uh, corner of your screen. Um, but today, uh, we're going to be doing a little trip, uh, about 130 kilometers, so it's not very long, to a town called Mei Sariang, which is quite pretty. Got quite a lot of Burmese temples there. Uh, along the way, we're going to visit a couple of temples here in town. One's got some really nice wall paintings, apparently. Uh, then we'll be visiting a hot spring. We'll then rejoin the 108 and head uh, into Mei Sariang on that road. There's a couple of places to visit along the way there as well. So uh, let's get going. So this is the first temple we're visiting today. It's on just sort of the way out of town. And this is called Wat Pa Det. I'm not entirely sure how you pronounce the second word, but I'll put it up on the screen as normal. And uh, as always, I'll put today's uh, locations all in the description plus uh, a route map as well but this temple seems to be on its own island with a moat all around it which is quite nice and this is a beautiful day again <laughs> not cloud in the sky early morning i think it's just gone nine o'clock So I've come into the main temple compound. I think the temple dates back to the 1850s, 1860s. Ah, oh, so this is the uh, depository. It's the first time I've ever been in one, actually. So this is where they keep all the, uh, the Buddhist scriptures, as you can see here. And various ceremonial items and they're kept in here uh, away from insects up off the floor and also to protect them from fires as well so here's some information about the uh, temple and the wall paintings so it was built in 1857 and the paintings were were done more than 100 years ago with powder paints over prime cement and wood walls and there's not many up here it's saying up in northern thailand so it's quite a rare thing to see you see they're pretty pretty incredible So we're now at the uh, the other temple in town, and uh, as you can see, it's got these uh, lovely uh, wall paintings on the back of this uh, temple building.
Okay, so that was the uh, two temples here in uh, Meicheim, or however you pronounce it. Uh, let's get on the main road and we'll head south and uh, visit some hot springs. This is a nice scene to see in the morning. The villagers working in the fields. I don't know what they're growing here, but it's not rice by looks of it. So I've reached the uh, hot springs, basically this whole lake and then there's a little geyser over there. I'm actually standing outside the entrance. Um, this is part of uh, a national park called Ob Luang um, and they want to charge you 200 baht uh, to see both parks um, and I'm only seeing this today and 200 baht doesn't really warrant a big lake and two sort of hot pools plus I've been here before about seven years ago so I've got some photos uh, from them which I'll show you now when I was actually inside and it was a bit cheaper then but as you can see it's uh, very quiet I say um, if you want to see video of uh, Obluang uh, National Park you can do so by uh, clicking on the link in the um, top right hand corner because I was only there last week so I just stopped off this um, this is uh, like a pine forest, uh, obviously it's um, been planted as you can see because everything's all in rows and we're just on the side of the uh, the 108 so we turned off about 10-15 minutes ago uh, onto this road which is the 108 that goes to May Sariang.
they actually call this uh, a pine garden, even though it's a forest. And it was um, it was started in uh, in the 1960s for reforestation uh, purpose. And I just spoke to uh, a Thai guy who's uh, ridden his motorbike up from um, Bangkok and he's doing the Mae Hong Song loop as well and he actually spent the night here uh, he just drove down this track um, even though there's a barrier at the end he managed to get out um, but he camped here last night and I said oh was it cold because Mae Chen was cold last night and he said yeah he's got uh, two sleeping bags and still felt cold and obviously a tent all on the back of his motorbike So we made it to uh, Mei Hong Song province. And we just crossed the bridge, the bridge just back there with the river below was the border between Chiang Mai and Mei Hong Song. So yeah, that's the bridge that goes over the river that marks the uh, boundary between where I am now in Mei Hong Song and over the bridges uh, Chiang Mai province. There's quite a nice little park here that marks the boundary. Beats just a simple sign that uh, we have back in England that marks one county from another and then that's it. It's got its own little viewpoint hill and shop and restaurant and cafe, toilets. A nice little park garden here.
So we're now in uh, Mei Saryang and this is the Mei Saryang Museum. Um, but it, as you can see, it's closed. And in fact, even seven years ago when I was last here, I don't think it was open. But anyway, it's a beautiful looking building and it sits as a landmark right on the busy uh, junction of the 108 and the road that goes uh, south from here. So this is uh, Wat Chom Tong, which sits on top of a hill. Uh, I think it overlooks uh, Mei Saryan. I don't know if there's a view. So I've just climbed up further up this hill and uh, there's a big huge golden Buddha up here and a viewpoint so we'll check that out in a second. And that's Mei Saryang from the uh, viewpoint of uh, Wat Chom Tong. We'll head back into town. There's a couple of very nice uh, Burmese-style temples. And then we'll cross over the river and just check out what it's like over there. So this is the uh, river Yuan, which flows through uh, Mei Saryang. Just saw some fish swimming away down there. They seem to be in those little circular pools, if you can make them up. So I'm now at this stupa, which is called Pratat Chom Kitty just outside um, Mei Sario. I'm a bit out of breath, I've just been walking up, walking up a hill a little bit. But this was built in um, 1713 and the locals reckon that it uh, protects them from uh, disasters, that, that kind of thing. We've got the signs of the zodiac all the way around this uh, stupa. And we've got another good view of uh, Mei Saryang, this time from the other side of the river. So that's the direction that we came through uh, those hills through the gap from our overnight stop in Maychem. So we're now at uh, Wat Jong Sung, which is a very pretty temple. And it was saying here it's built in 1838 by Shan Monk. And Shan people there from uh, Burma, from Miramar. So it's all in the Burmese style. We've got two stupas here, 
but one of them looks like it's been renovated. So there's actually uh, two, two temples uh, neighboring each other here. We just walked through the entrance into the second one, which is called Watsi Bunreng Rueng. I'll put the name up on, on the screen again. Apologies for my um, pronunciation. But this is a beautiful Burmese style temple here, Shan State Temple, because uh, Mei Sariang, which is in Mei Hon Song Province, and Mei Hon Song Province is right tucked up against uh, Burma and Shan State, which is where this architecture comes from. So I'm staying here at the Above the Sea, right uh, near the river, just across the road from the river, not actually on the river. And uh, that's not my room. This one is. I'll show you around in a minute when I get my stuff in from the back. And this is uh, my room for tonight. Complete with cockerel next door. Mm. Yeah, I'll see how I feel at uh, silly o'clock in the morning. That's, that's why I wear earplugs. And that's where I'm going to leave off this video for now. If you like it, then uh, give me a big thumbs up and why not subscribe to my channel down below. Until the next video, see you later.